One of the reasons we wrote this book is because we started to see a lot of our kids' friends and a lot of our friends who would be the parents just struggling with financial issues in their families. Whenever we speak on this issue, uh, I mean, there's one story that comes to mind of a, of a kid that actually dragged his parents to our session on teaching kids about money. And he said, I want to do this system. I want to manage my own money. I want you to make me earn it. And we talked to the parents later on. They said the kid was doing phenomenal. He paid for a car for cash. It's the exact same thing that we experienced. When our kids earn money themselves, they feel empowered. And the, the, the benefits are just huge. They buy their own clothes. They buy their own computers. They buy their own cars. They pay for their own college education. It doesn't get any better than that. I mean, the, the best thing that we've ever heard from our kids was, was Joe coming to us saying, Dad, Mom, I don't want you to pay for any of my college. I want to pay for it myself. I guarantee you there's probably only 1% of parents in the U.S. that hear that from their kids. So I'm going to Grand Canyon University, and without any scholarships or grants, it would cost me $17,000 a year. With all my scholarships and grants, it's going to cost me $1,800 a year. So since I'm getting married in January, we went and we found my wedding dress already, which is really cool and I felt like a princess in it, which is good. Um, it was originally $1,000, and then it was on clearance for $650, and then it was clearanced further to $399. So this week I, uh, I made about $200, so I'm gonna put uh, 10%, $20 in give. Um, saving for car insurance, I'm gonna put $40 in that. For college, I'll put $100 in that because it's really expensive. Uh, gift and clothes are not as high priorities right now, so I'm not going to put any money in those. I'm going to put $20 in spend to uh, pay for martial arts this week and $20 in food so I can buy lunch every now and then. If you think about kids today and finances, where do they learn about managing those things? Do the schools teach it? No. Um, do colleges teach it? No. So if the home... Do their friends teach it? No. no. <laughs> so if, if, if your home does not teach your children how to manage money, how to set priorities, um, a financial intelligence, a financial education, where are they going to learn it from? So I think it is up to us as parents and aunts and uncles and grandparents to start figuring out how we're going to pass that baton of financial literacy to our kids. Financial independence is like a muscle. We start with our kids when they're young and they develop a resilient strength. If you have older kids and you're starting out, they'll still be able to grow strong, but it's gonna take some time. We need to be patient, we need to be firm, and we need to make the hard decisions. We're the parents, and that's what parenting is all about. But I wouldn't be afraid of it. It's going to pay huge dividends mm -hmm. when you see your kids stand on their own feet.